Count to three. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look, and you'll. You think you could tell me exactly what happened? I looked around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. See how she was, uh, to accuse when we present, to present evidence. That's why. No, you're lying, Miss Valletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. <laughs> Mr. Kalu. You little fool. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He showed me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It was very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfield. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Think the witness is lying, but you lack proof, select doubt. Press X to call the statement into doubt. Okay, can you angry, Miss Galetta? Is that what you want? Tell me Pretty why Mr. Blood. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Wonka loves Jews, just so you know. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Do you think the witness is telling the truth? Select truth. Press A to the statement is to accept the statement as true. All right, one thing you want to keep note of is um, whether the, the victim or whatever, the suspect, is looking at you if they're making eye, to eye contact then that's a big thing if they're not and they're averting their eyes then um you can either put doubt or lie you'll pretty much get it even minor details can become important later on well there was one bang and then another and then three very quickly close together five thank you for your help ma'am been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my, never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Bam, there we go. You'll be marked on the map. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. A killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? 
Tate, maintain the perimeter. Uh oh, spabilios. What's right? Alright, Ingles. Alright, we're gonna go to the gun store first and uh, check that out. Sorry, I'm such a good driver. Excuse me. Everyone stop in the name of love before I break. I bet. Why am I saying Is there like no radio at this time? Like, what the hell? Look at the trolley system, it's so tight looking up. Seeing all those lines and shit. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just gonna take a right over here. Let's get some evidence on this mofo. Looks like it's up here on this corner right here. Alright, um, this is going to be a little bit shorter episode. Uh, I'm going to stop it right here, and then we'll continue on and uh, see what goes on at this eagle place or whatever, or what not have you say, or whatever, I don't know. But until next time, you see Boy Wonka, and then we're going to go bust this dude at this gun gun place and see what's going on right here in this mission. But until next time, Oompa Loompa Nation, I'm out. Peace! Yo, what is up, you guys? It's your boy Wonk, and I'm back like a heart attack with the next episode. And uh, as you as you probably know, where we left off last time, we left off at this gun station. So now we're gonna go inside and check it out. So what's going on? Officer, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Oh, so we could have just skipped over that. I'm sorry we dra dragged us there. We could <laughs> we literally could have just skipped over that and just been like, whatever. But, um, whatever. I mean, just follow the police. That's how we roll. So now... Let's go. <laughs> That's how I drive, baby. Charlie. Have you got a death wish? Maybe. Okay, here we go. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! I knew that was him. Oh, why didn't you stop him, dickhead? Hello! Get back here! Lock him up and throw away the Two him. Oh! 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 Oh!
do this. Hey, 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 I'm a cop, bro. I have to right away. Don't make it worse, Kalu. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> Who throws the, the gun in the, the garbage can? It's so dark. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very a good. Of violence. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look.